Hey everyone, this is Dwayne1992 back with more Let's Play Luffy in the Fortress of Doom. Where we last left off, we were in the cave north of Track. Um. Yeah, well, this little patch of uh, poisonous marsh here. You can use float and, of course, walk through it. And. You can find treasures, such as miracles. Hooray for miracles. And then. For this room. Ooh, a treasure chest on a pedestal. I wonder what it could be. A day's ring. Well, the day's ring is like. I think Artea had the high day's ring back in the Fortress of Doom. It raises defense and magic resistance. So we're going to give it to a girl because his magic resistance is craptacular. And then. We have another poisonous marsh over here. And. Some baby crabs and giant bats, no big deal. Hooray, a girl levels up. That's wonderful. Now, float will remain active as long as one party member is still touching the poisonous marsh when you walk into a different part. Just, you know, a heads up. And we're back to this hole. Now, I'm going to fall down this hole and take this other warp point, which leads us to a not-so-secret area. Oh no, we're ambushed. Oh no, a drain spell. Well, again, this battle shouldn't be too much to take care of, considering Zack can take out a baby crab all by himself. And Lothia has the do spell. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now we go down this ladder staircase thing. And then into this room. And we find a health point. And a magic point. This is a great area to grind in early on. And it's a great place to find kobolds to win mid-arrows, which are very useful for the next boss fight. Like so. Uh, do spell, attack, attack. Oh, one second, everybody. Apologies for that. I'm just kind of paranoid because I don't like my family seeing me recording. And yes, of course, we want a mid-arrow. Beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, I'm actually going to pause the recording again, so I can, uh, grind for mid-arrows. Uh, so I'll see you, well, soon for you, it might take a while for me. Alright, uh, I went and got myself six mid-arrows and, uh, leveled up the party a little bit. Um, at level nine, uh, Luffy learned the drain spell, which... Lower defensive power, that's very nice. Uh, so I'm just gonna travel out and go through the cave again quickly. It shouldn't take me that long. In fact, I'll just use a sweet water so it uh, so I can try and preserve my uh, you know health and magic <laughs> for the boss. Uh, Yeah, the boss isn't too tough, and I just walked through that poisonous marsh, but, uh, yeah, for some reason, uh, mid-arrows seem to do a lot of damage against this boss, so, but yeah, here we find the ship and the barrier, or whatever the hell I called it last time. Oh no, behind me. Well, those are monsters. Oh, bad ones. Well then, um... Like I said, mid-arrow, mid-arrow, mid-arrow. <laughs> yeah, they can hit for a little bit. Um, so usually, if Luffy is not using a mid-arrow, she should be healing. And they all happen to hit different goblins, which is not what I was hoping for. But, uh, it can be dealt with anyway.
This boss really isn't tough if you know what you're doing. And I seem to have run out of mid arrows. Maybe it takes three mid arrows per goblin. If so, that's my mistake. But it's a mistake that can be saved. Yeah, it looks like it's three mid arrows per goblin. Um, yeah, I'll use my revive. <laughs> Because there's no sense in having a dead hero. And then... You can cast strong on yourself. You can cast it on a girl. And a girl, you can get back to physically attacking. There we go. That was nice and easy. And a girl finally hits level 9. Yeah, clearly, hence the ship being here. So yeah, we sail off the track. We get our first taste of the boat music. And my cats need to stop causing problems. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, that's right. The captain's up at the pub. Not the lodge, the pub. That's right, game. I said it. I corrected your censorship. Oh, yeah, we tell him about his uh, ship. And he runs off to it because he loves his ship more than anything in the world because he's a spaz like that. Oh, Lorbenia. That's where uh, Aguro's from, isn't it? And since it's right near Grenoble, uh, might as well head off, huh? Really not too far from Trek. Oh, the way he sails, it kind of is. Or maybe I'm getting my directions mixed up. But yeah, here we are in Lubania. And a girl runs off because, you know, this is where his army headquarters are. Yeah. And of course, Luffy wants to go to the shop, the ginormous shop. Yeah. Well, of course you do. Know. Right, let's see how much I'm doing, for, or how long I'm doing for gold. 1,800. Well, that might be able to buy me a good chunk of uh, new weapons and armor. Uh, so yeah, I'll head to the weapon and armor shop. <laughs> we'll do the armor shop first. Just you know, get it out of the way. Well, I need tan armor for the hero and a girl. I need a robe for Lufia. Wow, that didn't work out as planned. And I guess I'll grab one shield. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. A minute. Game, you insult me. Um. Well, I guess uh, we could buy stuff here if we really wanted to, but do we really want to? <laughs> I mean, yeah, a short sword, big deal, um, and a staff for Luffy. She shouldn't be physically attacking anyway, so yeah, might as well buy some more armor. Um, uh, might as well get a tan shield, uh, two tan shields, since apparently Luffy can equip one. And then I can give the other one to our girl. Uh, so I'll off the bracelet, and we'll head off to the, uh, church, if I can remember where it is. Yes, there it is. I don't think I've ever actually used this church, I've always gone straight to Grenoble. But, uh, my video is just about over time, so might as well just record it here, and end. Uh, 
Well, this is the White Man 1992 signing off. I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. Have a good day.